Well, you're looking at the future right here. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey, Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Bell. A six superstar battle royal coming up next, guys. And Cole, I can realistically see any one of these six superstars walking away with a win here tonight. A huge opportunity for these six. It's Candice Wrestling! And from Anaheim, California, Candice LaRay! I've figured out what the WWE Universe sees in Candice LeRae. They all feel bad for her. All feel bad? What are you talking about? She it's is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. Like, just stop. No, they see someone, Corey, who is absolutely passionate about living out her dream job. It's a global pity party. The captain of Team Kick! And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! Traveled the world over when it comes to legitimate tough women Dakota Kai is at the top of the list. The first female competitor from New Zealand to make her name at this level.
Ken Fox. Corey, as we get ready to go, tell me, do you have a favorite heading into this battle royal? I've learned never to pick a favorite in a match like this. I mean, we once saw the Brooklyn Brawler win a battle royal, which tells me anything can truly happen here in WWE. And we're under Oh man, what a poop. Ooh, what impact. Oh, tear the features clean off your face. Close line! You gotta believe this one's over! <laughs> Big time slam. Vicious. She's absorbing some offense here. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. Hey, unless you're Andre the Giant, battle royals are difficult. And she's clearly not Andre the Giant. So I can understand struggling a little bit here. She's on the defensive now. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot let it take her out of her game plan. Oof, kick finds it. Boom, right in the button. Reverses that one. Ooh-wee. Comes up big with the reversal. Incredible agility. She's taking on some heat, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Yeah, but she still has to be considered a legitimate contender to win this battle royal. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. What a strike. Nailed it. Full oh, impact. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, man. And setting him up the oh, whole of the ace. That's going to hurt. When I think of a six-man battle royal, I often think of how different the strategy is for a superstar who's competing in it. Yes, the objective is the same, to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only six superstars. Jeez. You're not able to hide among the trees, so to speak, as well as the battle royals with 20, 30, or 40 superstars. We're looking at complete domination here. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Assault on the lower back. Byron, you made a great point earlier when talking about the different strategy a superstar needs to employ in a six-man battle royal as opposed to a battle royal with a much larger number of participants. In a six-man battle royal, a superstar has to be ready for anything right away and can't expect any time to catch their breath. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide in a six-man battle royal. Action's coming right to your door. This could be it. This might be it. Oh, my. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now. Snap headbutt. This could be the turning point, Cole. The situation. Shining wizard. Right to the jaw. What's going to happen now? Yeah, that was lightning quick. I knew it was only a matter of time. The situation just got real bad for Bianca Belair. Larian. Oh, 
She got her with a reversal. It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. Six of WWE's most alpha personalities all competing in the same match. There's a good chance this one ends deteriorating sooner than later. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Six of WWE's most successful competitors, for sure. Oh, clothesline! I think she's trying to prove a point here. Escapes trouble there. When she gets in attack mode, look out! Solid contact from Candice LeRae. This could be the turning point. No, she's too quick for her. Headbutt. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Chalk up another one. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Man, oh man, look at that. Remember this? Almost forgot about this one. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here is your winner, T. Ken Fox. Big 